Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki. I'm Adam. And in today's video we have a snack and food review. So we've got all of our stuff set up like always. We like to do this because it's just been helpful on our weight loss journey to always try new snacks, new foods, just incorporate a bunch of new things and find low point options. So if you enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And let's jump right in with a drink. So our drink today is a coffee, which Adam was excited about especially. But we found these at Target. So this is La Colombe coffee. We got this from Target. It is an oat milk double latte. It says creamy and balanced. It is 120 milligrams of caffeine, frothy oat milk. It's plant-based for one can. It is 110 calories. It's got four and a half grams of fat. This is three points on WW. It's got four grams of fiber, 11 grams of sugar, and two grams of protein. So it does have chicory root in it. I say that right now. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just split a can right now. I've already had coffee and I'm kind of shaky from it. So this is probably not a good idea for me to drink any more coffee, but. Did you want ice cube? I have a feeling it's gonna kind of taste like those Ooh. Starbucks drinks. Yeah. Like I said, the whole can is three points. Adam really enjoys those like Starbucks Frappuccino drinks, right? That's what they're called. Yeah. Uh, and just like any convenient drink that he can bring with. Of course he likes to make his coffee too, but it's always just a good option. Yep. So, good ready? quick option. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. It's not as sweet though. Okay, it's it really is like frothy. Yeah. Like it's like creamy and frothy in your mouth. But yeah, it's not very sweet. It's almost kind of watery. Yeah. It's like extremely creamy though, right? It is creamy. It is it's really like creamy, creamy watery. <laughs> I don't know yeah. how to explain. It's interesting. Yeah. I personally don't prefer it like this. I don't know. Yeah. I think if I had this, I'd probably bring it with like skinny syrup or something in it. To add I was gonna sweetness. say it needs like a flavor. Yeah. It's but it's good how creamy it is. I feel yeah. like Honestly, I want to add like a shot of espresso to it. Yeah, it might. This might be like a perfect cream. <laughs> like right? Cream it's almost thing. like a creamer. Yeah. It's not. It's not bad, honestly. No. Actually, having my second sip, I kind of like it better. Well, and it's a double latte, so I think that's why it has 120 milligrams of caffeine. Yeah. Like 60 is normally one. So I don't know if you need to add another shot of espresso into it. <laughs> I mean, an energy drink's 200 milligrams usually. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. I would give that. I mean, for three points, it's not bad. I'd give it like a six. I was gonna say seven. Yeah, I don't prefer it. We've had worse of those, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> but, it's, not, it's just not sweet. Yeah, but it's like so creamy. Yeah. I don't know, we might need to try that as a creamer, like you said. Yeah. Or even just adding a little bit of that uh, cold brew that we have in the fridge. You know what might be good in? <laughs> More creamy. Oh, that might be a good idea to turn it into a creamy. Yeah. Moving on to some salty foods. So the first thing we're trying, I wanna try this because yeah. I don't want these getting all stuck together, yeah. but this was actually sent to us from a brand called Brammy. So they are all like lupini bean based foods, I guess that they have. They have hummus, they have snacking beans, which we're gonna try those too. And they have pasta made out of lupini beans. So I don't really know exactly what a lupini bean is. It says it's very similar to a pea. It's like in the pea family, but it's a bean that's high in protein. And I don't know, it's something new for us to try. We're always down for new pasta options Definitely. especially but this is 200 calories for the two ounce serving dry three grams of fat it's got 37 grams of carbs six grams of fiber and 12 grams of protein and that serving is four points on ww so that's a good low point option for a decent serving two ounces is a normal pasta serving usually adam and i would actually split this box so we would have the whole box for eight points each but again that's worth it. It's how we usually do it with like bonds on stuff. So we're excited to try this. I went ahead and already made it. So we're just going to try plain noodles first, but I'm also going to make it into tuna pasta really quick because that's one of our favorite things to do with these types of pastas. And then we're going to give it a try after because we want to try it just plain to see if it has like a different, like strong taste to it. But <laughs> cheers. Cheers. I gave you one. <laughs> I actually like that better than the chickpea flavor. Yeah. It's like, good. That almost just tastes like a pasta. Like, yeah. We don't eat noodles like plain like that ever. Right? That just tastes like a plain noodle. Like, like that. if we ate plain chickpea pasta, we would definitely yeah, taste definitely like taste the... It. You just taste the chickpeas. I'm just like eating it with my hands out of this. That's really good though. I just can't... I was expecting like a weird bean taste, mm -hmm. but I really like the like texture, the consistency. Yeah. I only cooked it for five minutes. It said cook five to seven minutes and I feel like it's cooked perfectly, but it's got like a good chewy bite to it. Like even more than like bonza. Yeah. I can't believe I'm uh -oh. saying this. <laughs> okay, so really quick, I'm gonna mix the tuna in and we'll try it that way. Although 
Honestly, I don't even think it needs it. Like, no. I, we tried it and like it. I don't know. No, I, was I mean, it's, we should probably try it like that. <laughs> you just want tuna noodles. Yeah, of course. Okay, so I had already made the tuna and had it ready, but I went ahead and tossed it in the noodles. I threw some roasted red peppers, a little bit of cheddar cheese, some salt and pepper, and like I said, the tuna. So this is pretty much how I make our tuna pasta that we like to eat a lot. It's one of our favorite meals, but we've never had it with this pasta. So we're going through too many spoons for this video. <laughs> ready? Ready. Cheers. Cheers. When we use bonzo with the tuna pasta or the tuna noodles, you still kind of taste the chickpea taste. I honestly don't taste anything. Mm -mm. And it, like you said, the, the like um, texture of it is really good, especially with that. It's like perfectly al dente. Mm -hmm. It's really good. It's very good. And four points for the serving, not bad. It's normal. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and give that a nine and a half. I'm going to agree nine and a half. That yeah. was really good. Moving on to the next salty thing, let's go ahead and do these. So. These are veggies made great. We've tried a few different flavors of them, but we saw a new one today we've never seen, which is mushroom and three cheese egg white frittata. So our favorite is the spinach, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yep. But I really like mushrooms. You like mushrooms. Yep. So we were excited to try these. For one frittata, it's 80 calories. It's got four grams of fat, six carbs, and four grams of protein. And one of them is two points on WW. So what you do is you just microwave them in the bag like this for 45 seconds and that's how the other ones are too. Uh, they do have a lot of sweet ones but I think we usually prefer the like egg frittata ones. I yeah. think we end up liking those more so I'm excited to try it. Oh it smells, Ooh, it smells really, really good. Really good. It smells really flavorful. It so does. this is two points. It's a good size. What I like to do is cut them in half and turn them into a breakfast sandwich so I'll usually have like two of them cut them put them on some Ezekiel and then it's a filling breakfast sandwich. Yeah. Okay cheers. cheers. That's really good. That is really, that is very flavorful. It honestly tastes like a quiche. Yes, it does. You know, like without the crust? A lot of them do. We should make crust for these. This one's a little more like juicy, like it's like dripping over It is. Head. That mushroom flavor is so good. It almost has kind of like a buttery flavor to it. Yeah. I think the cheese gives it kind of a buttery flavor. Mm -hmm. Wow. Good. Those are good. Those are very good. Okay, what do you say compared to the spinach ones? I think I like the spinach ones yeah, better. Yeah, I think barely, so I'm gonna go whatever I guessed before. Right, I don't know what I gave them before. I'm gonna say I gave them a nine last time, so I'm gonna say eight and a half. That's what I'm gonna go with, because they're really good. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight and a half, too. I'm not copying you. I agree. <laughs> I think it's good. I don't know what I gave the last one, but those are just really good options to have in the freezer. Uh, we got them at Costco before in the big box, and it, it was just nice to always have them as an option. Yeah. So we got this flavor from Target. These are pretty easy to find in any store, but it's just the flavors. It depends what flavors. We've never seen this one before, so I really like it. Yeah. That's a good one. And that is something that is gluten-free, tree and peanut-free, and soy-free. Okay, the next thing we are trying, we are also so grateful. We were sent these from Ithaca. So we have tried two of their hummuses in these videos and loved both of them. I think, didn't we give the Grillo a 10? The Grillo, Grillo was a 10 and I gave the Buffalo Ranch a 9.5. Yeah. I do remember those. <laughs> yes. So we were really excited. They wanted us to try some other flavors. I think this is more of like their main line. This is the lemon beet hummus which I'm gonna be honest I'm not a huge fan of beets so I'm kind of nervous yeah. about this but when I posted these on my story so many people said that they love this flavor so I'm excited to try it and then also lemon dill which I, I think we'll both really enjoy yeah. so we're excited to try these you've always liked hummus but and I haven't honestly and I said that from the start of my videos actually now that I think about it in the beginning I used to always say like there was something I didn't like about hummus and now I crave hummus <laughs> I love it and I don't know if it just became an acquired taste and I just like the different flavors that we get and stuff but it is so good and it really is a good low point snack that's filling to add to sandwiches to wraps to bowls to so many different things or even just to snack on so anyway sorry my quick rant about hummus <laughs> i'm a hummus fan now yeah, i love hummus you love it now <laughs> i really do so i never expected that uh but anyway let's go ahead and try these each of these the serving for two tablespoons they're one point on ww so like i said it's a good low point option for the beet hummus it's 50 calories for two tablespoons three grams of fat and two grams of protein for the lemon dill it is 60 calories for two tablespoons four grams of fat and two grams of protein so whoa i was not expecting it this is like a beautiful color i've especially never especially for hummus that's so interesting i don't okay. think i've ever tried anything beet before so i don't know if i'm a fan or not that's the thing i mean to me they just have kind of an earthy like dirt taste to them that's what okay. i've always said but see how it goes i'm nervous oh my gosh but like for like a charcuterie board or something like this oh this is goodness. like the perfect color it's so it's like pretty for hummus <laughs> okay ready cheers, cheers. Mm. the aftertaste has a little bit of the beet flavor I can taste it. It's almost like a little sweet. Definitely lemony. I taste the lemon. 
That's why. I didn't know there was lemon in it. <laughs> That's it's good. good. It's unique. And I think the one thing I really like about theirs is the consistency. It's almost like a little bit more runny than mm -hmm. like a normal hummus. I feel like sometimes they're kind of thick and dry. Yeah. Interesting. Do you want to wait to rate it till we rate this one or yeah. do you want to yeah, just rate it? No, we'll, we'll wait. Ooh, okay. It does. Cheers. Cheers. I like this one more. I knew I would just because I don't like beets that much, like I said. That's really good. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely going to use this to make deviled eggs with it though. Or like an egg salad even. Like just chop up a hard boiled egg, toss this in, mix it in, and put it on a sandwich. It'll be so good. We're trying that. Oh, definitely. Like tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> I'm down. That sounds amazing because I love egg salad. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a nine. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and give this one an eight. Okay. I'm going... Eight and a half. Oh, okay. And nine and a half. So I'm going to tie that with the Buffalo Ranch. Really? You like yeah, it that much? It's really good. Okay. Yeah, I give this one a nine, definitely. This one, like, in my mouth, it tastes like a head of double egg. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what's so weird. Right? Lemon dill, but it's it's not, like, overpowering lemon. It's, mm -hmm. like, the perfect amount of lemon, perfect amount of dill. I'm excited about this. Yes. And we even have a couple other flavors to try, too, but I thought we would just limit it to this yeah. today so we don't have too many hummus open. Okay, the next thing we're trying, I guess we just, like, really wanted to try a lot of different bean products, but... We have, I swear we've had these from Trader Joe's once, but I don't remember them, but... I remember seeing them. I see them all the time on TikTok. So many people really enjoy these. These are the Crunchy Curls from Trader Joe's. So these are a tasty lentil and potato snack. For the serving of 31 curls, it's 130 calories. It's got 5 grams of fat, 19 carbs, and 3 grams of protein. Yeah, it's pretty much just a salty, I think pretty plain snack. They're kind of cute. They're just little curls like this. And this actually scanned as three points for the serving, but when Adam entered the actual nutrition, it was four points for 31 curls. So four points for 31 is not bad for a no. snack. Cheers. Cheers. I actually really like these. They almost taste like McDonald's fries. Is that not like, okay, maybe I'm way off on that. I know what you mean. It's like the aftertaste of fries, like fast food fries. Yeah, it's like that potato we taste. Yeah, I agree. That's good. They're pretty good. I think they could use a little more salt, and I think they yeah. need, like, some type of flavor. Yeah, that's where I'm at. But we like to make snack mixes where we, like, mix a bunch of snacks together. Like, we'll do small servings and mix it all to one. It's kind of like a trail mix, but with, like, crackers and chips. And this would be, like, the perfect, like, kind of base, plain good, thing. Good crunch, too. Yeah. I, I honestly didn't think I was going to like them, and I like them a lot. I like them more than I expected. Yeah. They're more potato-y than I thought. Yeah. I thought they'd be, like, straight lentil, right. like, bean-flavored. I'm going to give those a nine. Nine? Honestly, yeah. I'm going to go seven. No way! Yeah, they're, I, they're, it's because there is absolutely yeah, no that's, flavor that's to them. That's why. That's why. Yeah. I'm a huge flavor guy. There was not a lot of flavor. Okay. Definitely even like a little salt on there would probably be a lot better. Yeah, though. there really isn't. There isn't even really salt. Yeah. But I don't I'm, know. I just like my flavored stuff. I like them. So I feel like we're opposite with like the heavily flavored stuff. I would give it a nine. You'd probably yeah. give it a seven. <laughs> yeah. If you could, you would need to like coat it in some of like the popcorn uh, mm -hmm. yep. powder or something. That's a good idea. I like those a lot. Wow. Okay. Why did I wait so long to get those? That That's something I could see myself buying regularly now yeah. from Trader Joe's. And yeah, that's from Trader Joe's. Also, I didn't say the Ithaca, they had sent us this, but we've seen Ithaca pretty much everywhere now, Jewel, I think. Yeah. I feel like it's at like Jewel, Walmart. No, it's not at Walmart. Not Walmart. I've seen it. We've seen it at Jewel, Woodman's. Either way, I feel like it's been, we've been seeing it more and more at least, <laughs> but Anyway, the last salty thing we're trying, like I said, it's all bean themed, I guess, today, but this was also from Grammy. So these are lupini snacking beans, which is the same thing that the pasta was made from is lupini beans, but these are just like pretty much pickled version of them, I guess. So the flavors that these are, this is marinated with chili and lime, and then this is marinated with garlic and rosemary. Yes. So they are Italian snacking lupini beans, a fresher alternative to dry snacks. So for the serving, which is one pouch, which is about 33 beans, it's 80 calories, two grams of fat, seven carbs, seven grams of fiber, and nine grams of protein. So that's really good. It is gut-friendly prebiotics, grain-free, paleo and keto, easy to digest, and yeah, it just is a good high protein snack option. This whole pouch is only one point on WW. So let's go ahead and try these. We're gonna go ahead and open both. So this is what it looks like. We are starting with the chili and lime. So it's just like these little, and they are wet, but let's see. Okay, cheers. Cheers. They're interesting. Okay. They do kind of taste a little bit like olives. I like that it has a kick to it, and it's got the lime flavor yeah. to it. I think the lime is what I was tasting and thinking. It tastes like a cereal or something, like something like <laughs> that before. But for like a bean, I don't, I don't know. I don't mind the texture. I would definitely take these to work. Okay, let's try this. This is the garlic and rosemary, oh, so you're going to love yes. these. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Those are really interesting. 
They they don't remind me of well I guess I don't eat olives so I don't know what olives are like. Adam the, says they taste like olives. The texture is kind of like the same. Um, I think the flavoring a little bit of the chili lime one the flavoring a little bit was kind of like an olive. Yeah, flavor. I think just like the pickled. Of maybe it, that's maybe. what it is too. Yeah. You know what I think they'd be really good in is like a pasta salad or like couscous or rice like some type of like a, salad is like an ingredient. Bowl. Mm -hmm. and like one of the bowls would be really good. Yeah, and that's a one point ingredient. You can yeah, just toss it. In. I'm totally lot. gonna make a bowl with these. That's, that's so smart. Oh, that's good. See, that's what I was gonna say. I don't know if I'd really just like snack on them plain. I could see you bringing these yeah. to work and really enjoying them, but definitely. I definitely like the rosemary ones the mm -hmm. best. That's yeah. really good. What do you give them? Rosemary, I'm gonna give a nine. The okay. chili lime, I'm gonna give an eight. Okay, I'm gonna give the chili lime a seven, and I'm gonna give these an eight. The these. It's not something that I would like totally reach for just personally because. Mm -hmm. Anytime we get any of those like chickpea or like bean type snacks, I feel like you always go for them more than yeah. I do. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try those in a bowl. I think they'd be really good with rice or pasta. That yeah. rosemary is so good. <laughs> yeah, it's really good flavor. Yeah. So moving on to sweet things, we have some good stuff to try. This is the first thing we got. We just randomly grabbed it because we saw it at Trader Joe's and it was a fruit we've never tried before. And we like trying new things in front of you guys. So that's why we got it. So this is Probably something other people have had, I feel like. I don't know, but we've never seen it. Never? No? Never. It is a red pomelo. Is that how I said it? Yeah, pomelo. It is a red pomelo. I hope I'm saying that right. But I think when we when we looked it up, it says it's like a citrusy fruit, and I think it's similar to a grapefruit. But we're going to go ahead and cut it open and try it anyway because we've never had it. So mm. zero points on WW for us. We do not track our fruits. Oh, my gosh. See what it looks like. Whoa, it does Oh, yeah, like it looks like a grapefruit. Oh, it smells kind of like a grapefruit. Oh yeah, it does. So I don't like grapefruit usually. I like grapefruit flavored things, but, but I don't usually inside. like just like plain grapefruit. So this is what the inside looks like. Let's see. We have our own grapefruit spoons though, so that works out well. Yes, yeah, so you just scoop it like that. Okay, mm -hmm. mine scooped right out. What? How? Do you need help? Okay, so we each have a bite. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. It doesn't taste like grapefruit. I was gonna say it tastes exactly like grapefruit. Are you serious? Yeah. Is that what grapefruit tastes like? Then yeah. I've like never had a good grape. Oh, I was just getting the eye. No, that's the worst. I didn't know it was gonna burn. Wash your eye. <laughs> Come on. Interesting. It has good flavor. It's, yeah. It tastes just like a grapefruit. I think it's less bitter. I think it's a little bit more sweet. Maybe yeah. I haven't I haven't had a grapefruit in years, I guess. Yeah. So maybe we should just try a grapefruit next time. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, for the amount of work to get it out, but I think you could maybe peel it. I don't know the best way to eat it. I like it though. I think it's good. I would give it an eight and a half. Yeah, I'd give it an eight. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm lazy. Okay, <laughs> moving on to the actual sweet things. That was just a random thing we wanted to throw in there, but we got these from Target. They are honey and lavender glazed almonds, which we are always looking for different flavored cashews and almonds because we both love them. And so... When I saw lavender, I thought that was interesting because we usually like lavender in like our drinks and stuff, mm -hmm. but I feel like we don't really eat anything that's lavender mm -hmm. that I can think of. I'm curious to see how these are. So these are from Target, like I said. So for the serving, which is three tablespoons or 26 grams, it's 140 calories. It's got 10 grams of fat, 10 carbs, eight grams of sugar, and four grams of protein. And it's five points for that serving. So we're always looking for these as like a good sweet dessert option or snack option. Like I said, we just really like our flavored nuts. So this is what they look like. I don't really smell lab. Oh wait, yeah I do. It smells yeah. like lavender. Okay, ready? Cheers. Cheers. I actually <laughs> really, really like those. Those have a really good sweetness to them, and I actually really like the lavender. The weird thing is they almost are more like cashews. I, yeah. When you're eating them, they taste like they're cashews. They're like, and they're huge. They are, and they're very crunchy. So like the coating on them is pretty thick and crunchy. It's honestly unique. Like it's not too much lavender though. Yeah. I was kind of scared to be overwhelming. Right, it's like the perfect amount. So yeah, these are from Target. I really like them. Yeah, same. I'd give them an eight and a half. I was gonna say nine. I like those a lot. Okay, I yeah. love sweet almonds. Yeah, same, honestly. I think I prefer sweet almonds over any of the salty flavors we really try. I always like the sweet ones. I've been eating those snickerdoodle ones like crazy and I know you oh, ate the peppermint good. ones. Yeah, the peppermint ones are almost gone. Yep. Okay, moving on to the next sweet thing. We're trying a cereal. So this is Kashi. We like all the Kashi cereals we've tried so far. And so Adam picked this out because he thought they looked good. I don't know. They look like honeycomb. <laughs> yeah, so they are maple waffle bites. For the serving of one cup, it's 140 calories. It's got two grams of fat, 30 carbs, four grams of fiber, nine grams of sugar, and four grams of protein. And for that one cup serving, it's five points, which I feel like isn't that bad for oh, no. a cereal. 
And again, with cereals and stuff, we usually don't just like have a bowl of cereal in the morning. We like to use them as a snack, so we'll mix them in snack mixes or honestly just like eat them out of the bag kind of thing. Oh, wow. Okay, they smell very like syrupy. Yeah, that's what, they, that's what I was hoping for. Yeah. They smell like the honeycomb. Yeah, this is something, even like I can pack a baggie of these hiking and it's a good snack option that's not too like heavy or anything. So, ready? Cheers. Cheers. That's really good. Mm -hmm. I'm not kidding, that, like looking at the box in the store, that's exactly what I thought those were gonna taste like. <laughs> that's what yeah, I was I hoping agree. for. They have a very strong maple flavor, but it's really good. It's very good. I think a cup for five points is not bad. That's mm -hmm. a decent serving. Yeah. Those are really good in snack mixes. Honestly, even after dinner, I would like go and have that as like right. a sweet snack. Wow, I like that, okay. And I'm kind of picky when it comes to maple flavored things, yeah. but oh my gosh, I'm giving everything an eight and a half again. Eight and a half. I'm gonna go nine and a half. Okay, wow. That's exactly what I wanted them to taste like. And yeah. they did, and they're so good and crunchy. Yeah, and like I said, not bad for points. Yeah. And we bought these from Woodman's this time, but again, Kashi is something we usually see Walmart, Target, everywhere, everywhere. we go, but I'm not sure exactly about that type of cereal. But that was good. Yeah. Okay, the next thing, we've had this for a while. We just <laughs> want to finally try it. So this is from Trader Joe's. It's just their plain dark chocolate bar. But we really, really like dark chocolate. And so I feel like we're kind of picky about it. And we have our favorites. But every time we're checking out, these are just at the checkout popping at us. Popping at us. Popping out at us. And uh, we finally just bought them one day. So we're going to go ahead and try them. They kind of look like bars of soap almost. Mm -hmm. Okay, cute. So this whole bar is 12 points, which I feel like isn't bad, like for chocolate especially, to have six points for half the bar. But it says for one bar, it is 280 calories, 17 grams of fat, 28 carbs, four grams of fiber, 22 grams of sugar, and three grams of protein. So let's see how big the bar is. Yeah, this would be something good to use, I feel like even as like a creamy mix in or something, but for each piece is this one, to be six points, I feel like that's not bad. Because yeah, each piece is one then, right? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. I'm always looking for toppings for my apple nachos. And sometimes it's annoying to have to cut up chocolate chips. This would be easy to just like chop up the little bar. Yeah. And I could have two of those for two points to my apple nachos. That's not bad. Okay, boring, but I'll go ahead and give it an eight. Eight, uh, yeah. It's good, it's good dark chocolate. Yeah. Can't argue with it. And that was from Trader Joe's. It's Trader Joe's brand. So next up, we have two things left. So. This is a smart oat bar. We actually tried the cookie dough flavor, but today we got the peanut butter cup. I got this because I saw peanut butter and knew that Adam would want to try it. Of course I do too. I love peanut butter, but we're always looking for new protein bars. We actually really liked these oat bars last time we tried them. I thought maybe we'd like this flavor even more. So this whole bar is four points on WW. It's 150 calories, five grams of fat, 18 carbs, four grams of fiber, and 10 grams of protein. This is always something, we're always looking for something before the gym, after the gym, midday snack, like we're always looking for bars. We really do enjoy having them as a good snack option. And we always have bear balls, so just so we don't get burned out, we like to try other bars as well. So it's kind of like a chewy granola bar. Four points for the whole thing. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. I actually really like that. Really? It's got? It's not like a crazy peanut butter flavor, but it's got a good just like... See, I was just going to say, I bet I like it. It's because it's like, it's not, it's kind of bland almost, yeah. but it's not bland. It's kind of like, a, it is kind of like a Cliff Bar-ish. Yeah, and yeah. I love Cliff Bars. Yeah. I just love the like, that's like a perfect pre-workout bar for me. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. That's good. I think I like the peanut butter one more than the other one we tried. I can't remember exactly. I think exactly. I like the other one better. I think really? I, yeah, I think I do. And these bars are gluten-free, just so you guys know. We got them, where did I say? Walmart? I like Walmart, yeah. But... No, I really like this, especially for four points. Yeah. I feel like it's a low point bar. That's not bad for like a pre-workout bar or a post-workout bar. Yeah, I'll give it an eight. I was going to say eight as well. Okay. Okay, then moving on to the last sweet thing. I've been so excited to try these just because of how much we liked the other ones that we tried. So these are the sun-made fruity raisin snacks. We tried them in blue raspberry and absolutely loved them. I've, I've been eating them so much. They're so good. But I like raisins a lot. These are golden raisins. You like raisins, yep. right? Yeah. And they... At least with the blue raspberry ones that we tried, it's like blue raspberry candy. Like, you can't even really tell you're eating raisins. It tastes like a Jolly Rancher. Yeah. So, I'm really excited to try the sour strawberry flavor. For one pack of these, it's two points on WW. It's got 60 calories, 13 grams of sugar, and one gram of protein. Oh my gosh, smell them. Ooh. They smell like strawberry candy. Oh my gosh. I like golden raisins, too. Right? Golden raisins are, are better. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. 
They taste just like strawberry candy. Yeah, they do. I love these. They're what kind of hard to find. We found these ones specifically at Woodman's, and I still can't remember where I found the blue ones, but wow, I might have to actually order these online because I would eat these daily. They're two so point, good. Two points from that's like really good. Right? And I just always crave gummy candy, and so it satisfies that craving. <laughs> I feel like I just ate a gummy, I right. feel like I ate gummy or uh, strawberry sour patch kids. Mm -hmm. They're very, very similar to the candy taste. Right? They just took the flavor of it and <laughs> yeah, right. pumped it in there. I'm gonna give these a nine. Nine. I think the I definitely like the blue raspberry ones better mm -hmm. than the strawberry, but yeah. these are really good. Yeah, I agree. I would say nine for those because the blue, blue raspberry were definitely better, but they're good. Did I give blue raspberry a ten? I think we did. Yeah. Okay, because if I didn't, it should be a ten. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we did. Okay, that wraps up everything that we tried today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I know we got some new good things today. I'm excited. Yeah. Favorite thing? Oh my gosh, I always forget to do that. Okay, so finishing off, I would say my favorite salty, definitely the pasta. I agree. You agree? I okay. Agree. Okay, so this was our top favorite salty. This was so good, and we're about to eat the tuna noodles. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. And then favorite sweet, I'm going to go with this. Going with the Kashi cereal. Okay, so that wraps it up. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it, and we will see you next time.